thing happens to water balloons in cold weather. Uh, I forgot. Oops. I don't want to know. Wasn't that our director's new car? The Mercedes? Yep. Okay, I got it. We fill the balloons up with antifreeze, then we ride to the top of the hill, and then when the skiers pass under us, we drop the antifreeze bottle. I know they get mad, but whatever, okay? We keep going, we ride up to the top, we get their skis, we take off with the antifreeze, and... Welcome to Wild and Crazy Kids! The show that goes anywhere and does anything to find kids having fun! With your hosts, Jessica Gaines, Omar Gooding, and Donnie Jeffco. In a typical game of baseball, the idea is for the pitcher to get the ball past the batter. But this is no typical game. The balls are made of snow, and the pitchers will be rooting for the batters. <laughs> All right. That was a great hit. And now it's a game we call Snowball Home Run. These kids are practicing a game called Limbo. We've taken that game, combined it with the high-speed thrills of slalom skiing, and came up with a sport we call the Limbo Slalom. It just might be the next Olympic event. There are basically two uses for a broom. Now, one is something your mom makes you do, and it's really boring. But the other is something we're going to make your mom do, and it's a real blast because she's going to play goalie. We call it broom hockey, and who knows, she might even be the first mom in the NHL. Or, um, maybe she won't. There are plenty of ways to get down a snowy hill. You could ski, toboggan, or snowboard. But today, we're going to try a few things you'd never think of using outside of a sunny day at the beach. And we're going to put them to use in our snowy beach relay. We've got three teams, the fourth graders, fifth graders, and sixth graders from Big Bear Elementary School and Big Bear Middle School. The first member of the team will be riding on one of these boogie boards. Now, when he reaches the bottom, he runs to the signal ball and throws it into the air. Now, that gives the next teammate the signal to ride down on one of these inflatable pink Cadillacs. Now, when he gets to the bottom, he throws the signal ball again, giving his next two teammates the OK to come down on one of these inflatable alligators. Now, the final nine teammates to reach the finish line in one of these swimming pools, right here, is the winner. OK, teams, let's get those crazy snowmobiles ready. Yeah. While our teams are getting their snowmobiles ready for action, let's take a look at the hill they have to navigate. It's a ski slope about a block and a half long. On your marks, get set, go! Pink shoots out in front to take the lead. He's moving. Oh, yellow and blue are having trouble. Blue is really having a hard time. Pink's kicking action keeps him trucking. Yellow's still going. Pink's the first boogie boarder to reach the ball. And here's the signal for his teammates. Yellow's pretty close to the finish line, but Blue just can't seem to get going. Look, there goes Pink's Cadillac zipping by him. Pink whizzes past Yellow, too. Wow, Pink's already gotten two people in before anyone else has even gotten down to the finish line. There is the signal for Pink to start the third leg of the race on the alligator. Look at them fly! Blue is struggling, but Yellow's boogie boarder just gets across the finish line, and there's the signal to start their Cadillac. Wow, good speed. He's going to make up for lost time. Blue is completely stopped. Pink's alligator is slowed down near the finish line. Yellow is closing in. Pink's alligator crosses the line, and they signal for the swimming pool. In the home stretch, Yellow is overtaking the blue boogie boarder. Pink swimming pool takes off. Yellow signals for the alligator. Well, they get a good start. Finally, the blue boogie boarder. Yes, makes it over the line and signals for the Cadillac. Wow, look at this guy fly. He can get a speeding ticket in that thing. 
Pink is having a hard time getting the pool to slide. Oh, Yellow's alligator takes a big spill. Wow, that must be a speeding record. Blue signals and the alligator takes off. The yellow alligator is getting back into the race. It's going to be close as the blue alligator shoots down the hill. There's yellow. And there's blue. They finished at each other's signal balls and have to switch. Yellow and blue are fighting to get their pools moving in the wet snow. The pink team's pool is only halfway down the hill. This race is much closer than it looked like it was going to be when Pink got such a big lead. Pink is closing in on the finish line. And now it's a race for second. The yellow on the left is barely out in front of blue. This is really a challenge to move these pools. Oh, blue is moving out in front and they're neck and neck. Or should I say, pull to pull. Oh, it's a photo finish! <laughs> yeah, all right! Whoa, that was great, you guys! Tell me what happened! Oh, yeah. All right, well, now you know the story. Now, the yellow team did a fantastic job. They came in third place. All right, yellow team, yeah! All right, now coming in second place, which also did a fantastic job, the blue team, yeah! Sixth graders, all right. And the winners were the pink team, fourth graders, yeah! All right, way to go, guys! The girls challenged the boys in a strange new skiing event. And parents finally learn how much fun throwing snowballs can be, so stick around. If you've ever tried the limbo, then you know how tough it is. And I'll bet you were doing it on solid, dry ground. Well, today we're going to take the game of limbo one step further with our ski limbo slalom. In normal slalom, each skier tries to get to the bottom of the hill the fastest, weaving through the gates. But in our game, instead of going around the gates, the skiers have to go under them without knocking the poles off. This is the course challenging our skiers. Let's take a look at it on the kit cam. The crossbar for the first gate is the highest and easiest. As the skier goes down the hill, each crossbar gets lower and lower and lower. The skiers can bend their bodies any way they want to to get under the poles. And the lower the pole, the more points it's worth. You've got 25 seconds to reach the finish line. And for every 25 seconds over, you lose 10 points. We pitted the boys against the girls in this event to find out who are the ski limbo champions of Snow Valley. Okay, get into positions. On your mark, get set, go. Jamie is our first girl. She slides easily under the first bar, approaches number two, no problem, and she makes the turn to number three. Yes, she's coming into the fourth gate. Sits back on her skis and clears the bar. Approaching the last and lowest bar, she lays back and clears it. Next gear, get set, go. Charlie is first for the boys. He flies through the first gate, picks up good speed, an easy second gate, Makes the turn. Ducks the third with no problem. Lays back for the fourth gate. Oh, he loses it. He's gotta get back up and finish. If he doesn't finish in 25 seconds, he loses points. He lays back and makes the fifth gate. Next for the girls team is Ryan. She easily clears the first gate. Sits back for the second, turns toward the third, squats under okay. She barely clears the fourth. Snow plows to a stop at five. She inches under and gets through to the finish. The next gear for the boys team is Randy. He gets good speed. Flies under the first gate, pulls for more speed, and ducks through number two. Makes the turn to three, digging for speed. He bends over, but knocks the bar off. 
He lays back and slides under the fourth gate. He's a little shaky coming into five. Oh, he bumps the bar! The last girl skier is Jennifer. Gate one is a snap. Approaches two and no problem. She turns into gate three. She squats under and clears by inches. Approaching four, she slides through. Oh, she falls! Get up, keep going! She's got to get back up on her skis. Forget the pull! She charges for the last gate and makes an easy finish. Skier, on your mark, get set, go! The last skier for the boys' team is Daniel. Takes the first gate easily. Stays down low through gate number two. Makes his turn to three. Tries to pick up speed. Oh, he comes up too early and hits the bar. Coming into four, he doesn't get low enough and knocks another one off. He lays back for five. His pole hits and knocks off the bar. Oh, bad break for Daniel. Here are the results, guys. The boys got 10 gates, giving them a total of 250 points. Yeah! But the girls finished with 15 gates. And even after losing 70 points in the penalties, they still have 380 points, which makes them our winners. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! You all did a terrific job. It isn't every day you can get your mom or dad to help you make snowballs, but today is an exception because our next event is a snowball home run. And not only are parents going to be helping us make snowballs, but they're going to help us throw them too. While kids sit in the front tube, armed with a bowl full of ready-made snowballs, moms and dads sit in the back, navigating the tubes down the slope and putting their son or daughter in the best position to pitch to a row of batters. Each snowball hit scores a home run for the pitcher. The final two batters are a bonus, because if they connect, the pitcher is awarded a four-run grand slam. So, Bobby, I heard that you play a little bit of Little League Baseball um, maybe a couple of years ago. Tell me which uh, position you were. Pictures. So you must have a good arm, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't have much trouble. Okay, well, good, good. Okay, and um, I heard, Kevin, you played a little, little league baseball in your time. Quite a while ago. You're not going to be pitching, though. You're going to be navigating. So uh, tell me, do you have a strategy that you're going to tell your partner? Yeah, I'll just coach it from behind. All right, cool. Okay, well, um, let's get started up on top of that mountain, all right? Let's go. All right. Ready? Go. The orange team is first. Yeah, yeah. Janelle will be pitching and her mom, Deborah, will be steering. They're coming up to the first batter. The pitch. Oh, a miss. Yeah, they got one. They're in good position. Another hit. Oh, too bad. They're beginning to turn. Oh, another miss. They're turning backwards. She tries to throw it over her head. She can't get it in. One more batter. She can't get it to him. Too late. Ready, go. The pink team has Amber pitching and her dad is gonna keep them on track. They get a hit. And a miss. Another hit. Another hit. They're on a roll. The pitch. Oh, it's short. They're getting close to the bottom. Short again. Yeah, another hit. They're beginning to turn sideways. She throws it back, but no good. Bobby is pitching for the blue team, and his mom is doing the driving. The first pitch is overthrown. Too short. Another miss. And another miss. Oh, a hit. Another hit. A hit short. Oh, he slips and misses. Hey, wait, don't catch it, hit it. Bobby's throwing him fast and wild. A hit. Miss. Miss. Another hit. Oh, good try. The green team is up last. Lily is pitching and her mom will be navigating. The first pitch is short. A miss. Yes. It's short. Short again. Okay. And short. Another hit. Next to the last batter, a wild pitch. Come on. That's all, folks. 
Hey, that was a great game, guys. You guys have a lot of fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we have a winner, and it's Bobby. Okay, I guess that little league uh, pitching career paid off. Yeah, it did. Okay. I'd love to get in the big leagues. All right, so how do you feel about going down that hill and making so many uh, good pitches? Well, it was sort of scary at first, so. All right, well, that was an awesome game, guys. Good job. Right. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Hey, don't disappear. There's a wild game of broom hockey next. Really? I bet you thought brooms were only used for pushing dirt around. And you're probably the same person who thought your mom couldn't be a hockey goalie. Well, they are, and she can. This may look like an ordinary hockey rink, but this is no ordinary game of hockey. All the rules are the same as ice hockey, except the sticks have been replaced just like yours. Here are the teams playing. We got the California State Champions in the squad division. Yeah! Taking on the parents. Okay, hey, enough talking. Let's get you guys skating. Right. Blue controls the face off. Orange tries to bring it back up the ice. Blue steals, but Orange gets it back. Then takes it to the blue zone. Orange is on the rush. And Blue knocks it away. They scramble to clear the boards. Blue breaks it out and rushes Orange. Orange blocks the drive and goes behind the net. Blue sweeps the boards. Backhands. Blue blocks the pass and drives for the goal. Orange knocks it away. Blue backhands the pass, and yes! Blue slams it in for the score! Great teamwork. Let's look at the slow motion replay on that. Blue knocks it into the center, and is slapped back to his teammate, who has a clear shot and drives it past the goalie. Blue controls the faceoff. Orange skates away. Blue steals it back. Orange brushes it away. They're up against the boards. Orange sweeps it away. Blue intercepts, but Orange gets it back. Hits a scramble. Orange slaps it, but Blue shuts it out. Orange recovers with a backhand. Blue knocks it away. It's a loose puck. Blue breaks it out and is on the rush. He almost loses it. He misses the pass inside. Orange sweeps the boards. Blue blocks. Hitch shoots out. Orange picks it up. The pass goes into the boards. They fight for control. Blue slaps it away. They move it back down toward the goal with nine seconds remaining in the half. It's blocked up against the board. And that's the end of the first half of play with the score one to nothing in favor of Blue. Terrific game. Now the second half of Broom Hockey. Blue controls the face off. Orange's defense can't hold on to it and Blue rushes deep down into the orange zone. He loses control. The puck is hard to hold on to. He slaps it down behind the goal. Orange clears the puck. And then passes back behind the goal. Blue steals. Passes it out. Blue tries to drive around. He backhands a pass. It's slow. Blue saves. He passes inside. And Orange intercepts. But he can't hold on to it. Blue passes it. And rushes back down the boards. Orange knocks it out, but Blue recovers. They scramble for it. Blue keeps it moving down the boards. And drives for the goal. His shot goes wide. But Blue controls, passes inside, and Orange slaps it away. Blue gets to it. Orange blocks the pass, and again. They fight for it on the boards. Blue passes it out, and then back down the boards. 
The pass to the center. He slaps for the goal. The goalie scoops up the puck for the save. Let's look at that play on the slow motion replay. Blue brings it down along the boards. Makes a centering pass to his teammate planted in the crease who makes a point blank backhander. But the goalie scoops up the puck and makes a great glove save. Terrific defensive play by the orange goalie. There's only 35 seconds left in the game. Blue takes control of the puck. Passes inside, but Orange slaps it away. Orange takes it down the ice. Blue almost steals it, but oh, he intercepts the pass. Blue brings it back, passes it off. Orange stops it and passes back to the center line. They almost lose it, but slap it into Blue territory. Yes, Orange rushes for the goal with only seven seconds left, but he overskates it and Blue scrambles for possession. Orange tries to clear the goal, but they run out of time. Let's look at that last play. Oh, too bad. He just skated right past the puck. Blue tries to slap it away, but Orange is there and takes a shot at the goal. But it's blocked away by the Blue goalie's broom. Well, congratulations to both teams, but the kids pulled through with a final score of 1-0. All right, great job. Omar, what are you doing? Uh, okay, I'm determined to get some of these snowballs back to my friends. You know, the hot weather and all, and we're gonna have a huge snowball fight. Omar, I really hate to tell you this, but a funny thing happens to snow when it's in warm weather. John, Donnie, just let it go. I'll get a box, you start making snowballs. 